Hi there. Yeah, it's me again. Uh, we got a couple more days of snow here in Vernon. And I thought one last pastiche going around Chilliwack as I remember it from 55 years ago. And then that will definitely be it. I will not do it again. I've done it enough already. So let's give it about four or five minutes. This was even before my time. This was the Strand Theater at the corner of Maine and Wellington. And this was um, the theater that uh, the Paramount Theater replaced in 1949. Let me just take you down Yale Road East as it looked in 1957. You would have the corner chevron, you would have Oscar Cheeks, you would have the bright spot and Glegs, and on the other side you'd have Old Phillips and you'd have George Coombs and uh, the Paramount Theater, the old Queen's Hotel, the post office, Al Jeffries menswear. Of course, the jewel of it all was the Paramount Theater. You'd walk inside, there'd be the snack bar and the stairs. It was just a, a really great place to be. And we all look forward to going there. And when I started going, it was only about 35 cents to get in there, but memories that last forever. Okay, something different. I've never done Hipwell's Drugstore and their Fountain Justice in the past on any of my videos, so I'm going to make a big change and do that now and remind you what a great place Hipwell's was right at the five corners. Harry Hipwell was a well-known local businessman. He was responsible for the Cherry Carnival getting started in 1927 and he had a lot to do with uh, the Rosedale Agassiz Bridge being built. Uh, he was just a pillar of the community. He and his wife lived on Portage Avenue, just next to where Kip Primary School is. And uh, as you can see, the, this was a place that, uh, well, there's something else ringing away. Anyway, if you went into the, ch the lunch counter there, you remember uh, Bertha. She was incredible. She was an incredible lady. But of course, by 2013, it was all over. <laughs> 